It's a first for the coronavirus in the United States. Late last night, the state of California recorded a new case which was not linked to any foreign travel. So health officials say this would be the first instance of what they call community transmission, and that increases worry about the spread of this virus. Good evening. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Heal. Concerns over the virus have sent stocks plummeting. The Dow Jones sank nearly 1,200 points, its worst one-day point drop in history. The tech-heavy Nasdaq also took it hard today, down 4%, 414 points. The S&P 500 lost 4% of its value as well, down 137. And the S&P now is on track for its worst week since October 2008. Now, as for the outbreak itself, there are now more than 82,000 cases in 51 countries and 2,800 people have died. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke with a doctor at UC Health who says people should be cautious but calm. Across the world, more than 80,000 people have been infected by the coronavirus and at least 2,700 have died. Here in Colorado, people aren't wasting any time. The wall has been emptied. Everybody is uh, come in and bought all of our dust masks. After 30 years of working at Ace Hardware, Nancy Conti has never seen anything like it. I think people are just paranoid about the virus. It's a lot of data that we're looking at. Dr. Michelle Barron says symptoms of the virus are similar to those of the flu or a cold. People that are older are probably being affected and have more issues with this. Children are actually disproportionately not affected by this, which is a little unusual for most viruses, and anybody with kids knows kids get viruses all the time. She compares preparing for the possibility of the coronavirus spreading in Colorado to a snowstorm. Just be smart about preparation. It doesn't mean you have to hide in your basement and hope everything goes away. Just be practical. What would you do if a snowstorm was coming? Sort of think in that sort of same context. One of the most important measures people can take is to wash their hands. If you feel sick, treat your symptoms and seek medical help if they get worse. As long as I keep my vitamins going and that, uh, I'll be somewhat safe. For Nancy, all she can do is look after her health and pray others do the same. Because I'm getting on a plane to Saturday, I'm flying to Memphis, and I'm hoping nobody's sick on that plane. <laughs> Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. So DIA right now is not screening passengers for the coronavirus. Airport officials say the CDC decides which airports need to screen. DIA does not have that requirement right now. 20 other airports are screening passengers in what is known as quarantine stations. DIA officials say they're working with the public health department to monitor coronavirus here in Colorado.